Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Tips and Trick Thursdays. So I haven't been able to do a video in a while because my kids were sick, but uh, today is a new day. Both of them are in school, so yay, they're done being sick, at least for a while. So uh, today I'm going to talk about how to select your wardrobe, uh, do's and don'ts. Now, the first thing that I normally tell my clients is that I don't like them to wear too dark up against the face. Um, like this would be, in my opinion, a little bit too dark or especially don't wear black. Um, and this pattern would not be a good thing. It would kind of confuse uh, the eye when you're looking at the photos. So what I'm wearing, not a good thing. Um, Black up against your face, especially when it comes to uh, family photography, newborns, anything that has more emotional value over the business professional. I steer away from that. To me, it tends to be our, our eyes go to what is the lightest in the photo and uh, you tend to be just a floating head when it comes to that. Now, I want to show you a few outfits. Now, I have two girls, so I'm not going to show you any boy outfits. And um, I'm going to show you a few girls' outfit. So this is a summer dress. It's white. It's plain. It doesn't take away from the subject. And it looks fantastic. And this would be great for spring. Spring, summertime, it's beautiful. Spring tends to, in my opinion, to be a little bit more about fine art. It has more subtle colors outside. The grass isn't crazy green yet. So um, I normally try to get, go for more pastel when it comes to spring. Uh, summer, so look at this dress. It, it's kind of mustard yellow with some strong colors in it. You want to go a little bit stronger in the summertime and mustard yellow is better than regular yellow, even though you can go with that because regular yellow tends to be a little bit different and anything with an earth undertone tends to photograph really well. So when I suggest for my clients to go with yellow, I always recommend kind of darker yellow. Patterns, you wanna do patterns like this shirt. Now this is a, a yellow shirt, but see how subtle uh, the, the pattern is. It's not overwhelming on the eyes. It's small flowers. I can show it to you here up front. And the colors match really nicely. It's beautiful for a kid and a child. And with it being a little bit more lighter yellow, it, it definitely works. Um, I would have preferred. So if you look at the two yellows, you have the mustard yellow and you have the light yellow. The light yellow can handle a tighter pattern like this better than this color would be. It would be overwhelming. Um, this dress, again, pattern, looks beautiful. The pattern is not overwhelming. I also tell my clients do not go with pinstripes. If you've ever looked at anything with pinstripe in it, your eyes tend to kind of go cross-eyed because it's, it's really hard to look at. And, uh, and the pattern starts to move. And if the pattern starts to move, I mean, it's not going to look good in a photo. It's kind of off-white. I'll show it to you again with again the, the pattern is not too crowded it's not it's more subtle and it's a beautiful dress put it with um some boots brown boots cowboy boots would be awesome with this um and it looks great for winter time i have this poncho type you see it better right here and it has a hoodie so that color, um, and I'm not that great in color, so I, I don't know what to tell you other than it's pink. Um, it would be great with snow. So again, when it comes to winter time, if it's snowy outside, go pastel, go white. You can go white on white, that's beautiful. Go with pastel color, go with the subtle col colors, go gray. It's gonna be stunning. Few things to stay away from. Graphic t-shirts. That's what I think about that. They're outdated and they're gonna get out of style real fast. Crazy patterns. You got stripes, you got 
just general craziness going on. Don't do it. Bling. Let's see. Bedazzles or whatever that is called. That's a huge no-no. If you're doing that and you're a grown-up, we need to talk. Now for mom, so this is actually navy, but with mustard yellow flowers and white flowers. Uh, this would be a great fall outfit. I'll show it to you. It's a dress. The tall boots. I hope you're not seasick from this video. And this would be absolutely stunning. Um, and, and see the difference. So they're both dark, and now I'm kind of um, contradicting myself a little bit. But because of the pattern, it already becomes a little bit better. But this one, without the pattern, I tend to turn a little bit more into a floating head. And better light here. With pattern, at least I'm interesting, right? So that's it for today. Stay away from too dark, up against the face. You want to layer. Layering in the fall is beautiful. It's um, We're heading into full-on winter. Uh, I have some sessions coming up um, in December, and we may have snow. It's going to be beautiful. So don't hesitate to get photos later in the year, even though uh, we don't have the fall colors anymore. Snowy photos can be absolutely stunning. Um, just dress correctly for it. Do the right wardrobe with it. Um, for the most part, if, you, if you're booking with me, I'll have a, board, uh, a session with you before our session where we talk about your wardrobe and I give you advice what is best to wear. So think about the seasons and what is right for each season. Anyway, uh, I am done for today. Let me know in comments below if you like this video and uh, if you have any suggestions on future um, comments and tips and tricks. Thank you and you guys have a great day and enjoy your weekend.